We also have a little little thing going on, or a little race going on. Seven and I, you know. Yeah, this is why we announced. Welcome to the Card Market Feature Match. Here today, not with Jamin or Carl, with me, Arne Oceanbeet, and special guest from Denmark, Simon Nielsen. Hey guys, I'm so excited to be here. I came all the way from Denmark, took a bus eight hours just to play against you and show you who's boss. All right, let's see who's boss then. Anna and I are actually teammates uh, testing for the Pro Tours together, and uh, we've both gotten a top eight in that time together, so that's pretty nice. Congratulations, Simon. Con yeah, congratulations uh, retroactively to you as well. <laughs> Thank you very much. And not only that, Simon has qualified for the World Championship this year, so. Yeah, that that's is exciting. Oh man, it's like, you know, th this rivalry here, it reminds me of when we were at the, the GP circuit, do you remember? When like we were just like trying to like up each other, getting the most top eights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many top eights do you have again? <laughs> I've, I've eight now. Oh Yeah, God. I'm ahead of you by one. I have <laughs> seven only. Well, let's see who's gonna win this Pioneer match that we're playing today. You don't know what I'm up to, but I know Simon Nielsen. Simon is usually trying to put creatures into the battlefield and attack with them, so I'm And I, I know that. Anis are usually doing the opposite. The exact <laughs> opposite of that. And, of course, Card Market YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. This content needs to have more attention on it. It's such amazing what Carl, Jamin and the entire team have been doing here. Give them some love. Subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and leave a comment if you can. For real, I stopped last week. I mean, I, I love this channel, it's great. I brought today maybe my favorite archetype in Magic, Demir Control. When I started out with Magic and got into Standard, I was mesmerized by Shota Yasuoka's Pro Tour win at Dragons of Takir, where he used a blue-black Dragons control deck to gain the victory. Since then, um, I copied the deck list, bought it on Card Market, of course, and uh, I've been championing control decks and constantly uh, keep falling in love with them. This Pioneer Demir control list I found on the internet. I haven't played it myself yet, but I'm very much sure. I feel confident in my ability to play this deck. Demir control is right here in my heart. It's my favorite archetype. So let's go, Simon. What do you got? I have brought just a pile of comments and uncommons. Just, just a, a ton of them. But I think this deck is Maybe, you know, one of the like uh, unseen pearls of Pioneer. It is Red White Heroic, uh, which attempts to play a bunch of cheap creatures, which either like has powers or in some way like synergize with cheap things. And then if they like, have effects when they're targeted. And then you play cards like Defiant Strike and Ancestral Anger, which will um, target your creatures and draw cards. I expect Arden to play some sort of uh, red black mid-range deck or control deck because he's a one-trick pony. I think the God's Willings in my deck are gonna come in pretty handy. And then I think I have a pretty good sideboard plan, uh, relying a lot on Showdown of the Skulls. So we'll see how that works out. All right, Simon Nielsen, welcome to the Card Market Arena. Thank you. It's a pleasure to battle you. <sighs> yeah, it's gonna be tough. You wanna do a high roll? Yeah, with six dice. With six dice? Yeah, let's go. All, All right. right, with six dice. Okay. That is six, uh, 18. 18, 18, that's, that's about average, isn't it? That is Whoa! <laughs> I have been out muscled, that's 30. Yeah, <laughs> that's, all right, I would like to play first. Yeah, that makes sense. Before we start, I would also like to reveal some muscle of mine. Ooh. It is Gigantha, the Wellspring, who's gonna be my companion, leader, and cheer me on as I draw okay. my opening hand. Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right. <clears throat> what do we got here? All right, this hand isn't amazing or anything, but I got my two lands. I got Make Disappear and Sensor to cast, Sensor to cycle in case I need more lands. When I hit those lands, I have Sinister Sabotage to dig me deeper into more lands, put cards in the graveyard perhaps for that dig through time. And if I'm playing against a creature deck, I have a Shadow's Verdict even. So this is a keep for me. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this hand. You get a lot of hands like these with this deck. You got a mulligan a lot, but this one has no threats and it is no bueno. It, it, it gets shipped back immediately. All right, this one is uh, definitely a mulligan. Okay. All right, better six here. All right, this six card hand is totally fine. I have some threats and I can just ship back this 
planes and it'll be all right. It's definitely not fancy. I would have hoped to have a God's Wailing or something, but you just gotta work with what you're given with this deck. Like whenever you have threads and lands, you keep all the time. Yeah, that's a lot better. I will put back this card. All right, let's start. Let's begin. I have a Fable Passage. You have a Fable Passage, all right. Pass the turn to you. It is, uh... I thought that Fable Passage wasn't really played much anymore, but... Uh, anyway, I'll take two from the Sacred Foundry. So I go to 18. All right, and I will play a favored hoplite. Oh no! Yeah, oh, that's what no. I'm doing. <laughs> oh, that no. is a that is a nice little nice little hero. All right, track this favorite person. Yep. <clears throat> Let's go. Oh wow, you get an island! Surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you're known for one thing. Okay. <laughs> On tap. Go for the turn. Play a round catacomb. Pass the turn to you. Hmm. Okay. Not many blue black decks in the format. Are you just are you just playing your PT winning deck? The, the rogues? <laughs> <laughs> just all over again? I guess it's legal in its entirety, isn't it? it hopefully, right? Because no good cards in that deck. Uh, I will attack. <laughs> I'll attack you for one. I will take the damage. Okay, well, you're a brave man. Yeah. You got a 19, <laughs> taking the damage from this actual hero. And I'll play a Battlefield Forge and a new one. It is Illuminator Virtuoso from New Capenna. Uh, it's a 1-1 uh, double striker, and whenever I target it, I get to connive. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's also a hero of sorts. I see, I see. All right, I will make this appear, this one. I can't Wait, that's, really that one. that's also a new card. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I guess, you know. <laughs> that's the battle of new cards, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we, we got the Capenna answered by Capenna. Okay. All right, I'll go and mm -hmm. untap. Draw a card for the turn. And I will choose to play a Field of Ruin. And I will pass the turn to you, Simon. All right, I hope I remember to put basic lands in this deck list. <laughs> <laughs> well, ha, huh, that, is, that is a card. The interesting thing about playing in control with this deck is that you really want to be careful with your cards and try and line it up so that they can't stop your cantrip effects with their fatal pushes. Like, if I just go for Defiant Strike here on my Hoplite, which is something I want to do, but Ana has a fatal push, I lose both my Hoplite and my the extra card from Defiant Strike. I don't want that to happen. So in some ways I have to navigate him in a spot where he maybe um, taps out or reacts to something else and then I can use my Defiant Strike. So I think the best way to do this is actually to play out my Hoplite before combat, before playing my land even, so maybe he has another make disappear and he counters it. And then if that resolves, I can play a second Hoplite and if he counters that, I can then go for Defiant Strike and get in that extra damage. I'll play another favorite hoplite. That's a powerful one drop, isn't it? It is a very powerful one drop. All right, Simon is a pro. He didn't play his third land yet. He's just playing his hoplite now, maybe trying to bait out a sinister sabotage here. I'm not gonna fall for that. Simon can still play his third land, play a Dreadhood Arcanist, a Virtuoso, or something more threatening than this one, two, one mana card. That just runs into my Shadows Verdict on turn five. So I'm gonna be patient with the sinister sabotage for now. Yeah, yeah, I think you can have that one. I can, wow, okay, you're so kind. Uh, I will attack you for one. I won't have uh, any response during combat. Okay, um, me neither. Okay, then take one, 18, 18. Okay, this is, this is, oh man. It's exciting, Yeah, huh? you're, you know what, you know what, I'm not done. Okay. I'll take a damage and play another favorite hot fight. Wow, Simon, you're going crazy 17. today. <laughs> I mean, I'm going crazy every day. <laughs> <laughs> this is not even my final form. I will respond with a Sinister Sabotage on the favorite Hoplite. Okay, it is dead. All right. I will keep that card on top. And I guess maybe my sequencing was a bit off there. I probably should have played that. There we do. I'll play another Battlefield Forge. And play a Defiant Strike on my uh, untapped Hoplite here. So it triggers, gets a counter, I lose a life, go to 16, and I get to draw a card. Yes. Okay, so that was my plan um, <laughs> of playing both Hoplites pre-combat, but uh, for some reason I did not uh, do it in the correct order. Um, well, that definitely is something that happens sometimes in Magic, where you like think, 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 come out to like a, a, a pure multi-step game plan, and then you just like fail to follow through. It's all right, I lost like two points of damage, the game moves on, I got my card and my counter. And I'll pass the turn. 
Two cards left? Two cards left. Right. Are they any good? <laughs> Great question. No good cards in this deck. <laughs> um. Um. <laughs> I will choose to blow up this Sacred Foundry and see what you have going on with basics in your deck. I you will fetch a planes mm. from the bottom of my deck. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. All right, I'll get a swamp, mm -hmm. and apparently you have basics. I mean, I suspected that, but that's all right. Your turn. I was just tricking you. It's worth a try. It was not. All right, draw for turn. Yes. Tough decision here, but I think I've made up my mind. I will cast Invigorated Rampage. Uh, of course you know this card. Uh, I take a damage from my pain land here, and I will try and give each creature plus two plus oh. <laughs> Trigger Hivoric twice. I would choose to cycle sensor in response. <laughs> I thought you were gonna like try and censor it. What are you, okay, you're just gonna cycle sensor, sure. That makes sense. Alright, you can have it. Yeah, so this one goes up to two, this one goes to one. And now it's nine power total. Four and five. Combat? Sure. Alright, damage. Yep. Go to nine. Do go to nine, indeed. And I will pass the turn. Okay. Untap. I will play Drawn Catacombs, and I will cast Shadow. That is rude. Okay, yeah. Uh, my poor Hoplites are gone. My Virtuoso and Hoplites here is gone, too. Yep. That was um, satisfying, I must say, Simon. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but you like that. <sighs> Your turn. Okay, I'll draw a card. Okay, I have a very powerful turn coming up here. I'll put your Ganth on my hand. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Your turn. <laughs> Untap. And... <clears throat> I just gotta make sure that nothing happens from here on out. Make sure that no creature will ever connect with me. My goal is get all the removal I can get, get all the card adventures I can get, and from here on out, we are cruising. I will just pass the turn. Draw? Yep. Yeah. I'll play an Illuminated Virtuoso. I will cast, make this appear on the Virtuoso. Okay, too bad. <clears throat> Do you even have any creature to casualty with, or is it just the worst quench? I guess slightly <laughs> better quench. Slightly uh, better. Okay, I will uh, pass. I'm going to cast my <laughs> <laughs> One of my all-time favorite cards. Um, mm -hmm. Leaving in Sinister Sabotage and make this appear. Exile these five. Ah, oh, it's good to be back, Dick for time. Look at the top seven. Four. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna Five. sit back and let you enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I will have the choice between these seven, and I will choose these two. All right. Go ahead and untap. Yep. Um. <clears throat> Pass the turn. You don't even have a land. <laughs> <laughs> That's rough. I'll draw a card. Ooh! Okay. Well, I've been collecting these. I'll pass the turn. Okay. I will cast a Mary Deluge. <laughs> yes. Take for time light. Yes, yes, yes. Indeed. I think I'll just take these two. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Untap. And draw a card for the turn. Here, Simon. I have a land. I have a land. Okay. Yes, yes, indeed. I'm happy you played that, because that's also a good spell. <laughs> All right, guys. For the chat, hardcast shark Typhoon. What? <laughs> All right, this is my time. This is, this now is we your win. turn. Yes. <laughs> yes go yes, go yes. ahead, do it. Show me. Oh, uh, man. Ha! Ooh. That doesn't do anything. I will pass the turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, you love to hear that. Um... I will also pass the turn back to you. Mm, that's not part of the plan. Oh! 
That can kill a shark. Maybe. Go. <laughs> All right, go again, Simon. <laughs> That's not gonna work out well for what? you, is it? <laughs> it's, it's rough being me, okay? <laughs> you gonna make a 4-4 shark? Gonna make a 4-4 on huh? Cast Mirror Deluge. Go ahead here. Mm -hmm. I'm um, going to take these two. <clears throat> and then I will, in the end step, cast a Tainted Indulgence. Wow! Yeah, let's go. New card from Streets of New Cabana. Two mana, draw two, then discard a card unless there are five or more mana values among cards in your graveyard. One, two, three, four. Uh, you also have the Fable Passage, right? Oh, that got dealt away! Mm. 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 Yeah. Could have been more careful there, perhaps. Maybe could have been more careful. Alright, draw two. <laughs> Just rub yourself a value. Like, how could you? <laughs> <laughs> you betrayed everything you stand for. Uh, I don't think I need this extinction event anymore. <laughs> I even. think I'm good. Yeah, no, I, I think I'm good on that. Okay. Right. Okay. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Play an island. Attack for six. Yeah, ouch. Okay, I'm at nine too. Now we're even. <laughs> yeah, now it's a close game. How's the turn to you, Simon? I have effects in your instep. Oh, really? Yeah. Watch this. Define strike. I will define strike <laughs> your shark token. Am I allowed to draw a card? You are allowed to draw a card. Wow, you're not even gonna push your own token. No, I find it very kind of you to, sure. to mm. help my shark out with the... Mm, he's having a, a hard time. <laughs> so, Okay, I'll draw another card here. Ooh, look who it is. It's our old friend, favorite hoplite, <laughs> number four. <laughs> they always come in groups. All right, it resolves. It resolves? Yes. Wow. Okay, I will um, pass the turn. You pass the turn, you say. Wait, you're gonna make a 7-7 seven, seven shark, aren't you? Um, I will just cast a Soul Shadow. Make a 3-3 three, three shark. Okay. In response, uh, I will um, Reckless Rage, try and kill your shark. Get a counter. I lose a life. Go to 8. Um, okay, in response to that, I would like to Sinister Sabotage. Counter my Reckless Rage. Counter the Reckless Rage and yeah. make a 3-3. Three, three. You know what? I, I, have, I have more. But I, I think I think I'm dead. So this shark dies. This shark. And you get a couple more, and I'm at seven life, and uh, you have you're eight. gonna have eight, eight eight powers and eight. Okay. Make it nine. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Oh. And we should not forget to mention that the cards we're using today in this in these pioneer matches are not actually from Card Market. They are from Karma Crow, the first seller on Card Market. There's some history behind it. Has been my previous employer. So go check out Karma Crow. They have all the cards you could need. Entire decks, free four modern decks, legacy, vintage, mm -hmm. commander, whatever you may need. Simon, if you ever need something, Karma Ever Crow. need something, yeah, definitely. I could just like, any deck list I needed for these videos here, I could just ask Karma Crow and look, they had the cards and they just generously supplied them for us for these videos here. Yeah, thank you to Karma Crow. Game one of this matchup, certainly not looking great. I have all these reckless rages that are just like terrible cards and I definitely don't have enough protection and enough threats in my deck to actually fight through his interaction. But post board, things change. I get to take out all my reckless rages and my invigorated rampage and one of these homestead courages, which is also not a great card. And instead I get to bring in uh, some like big hitters like Showdown of the Skulls and um, Fight as One to protect my creatures and to provide card advantage. And then I also bring in two Bone Crusher Giant. It's not actually meant for these uh, control matchups, but it, it's a very nice flexible sideboard card that it covers both the aggressive decks, but can also come in as an extra threat against control. So that's why I like it in the sideboard. And these seven cards are gonna come in. And hopefully my deck will have a little bit more staying power. All right, we're playing against red, white, how do you even call it, heroic, I suppose? Very, very low to the ground. I believe the latest lists don't even play the Feather anymore, so this deck is packed with two drops and cheap pump spells, protection spells. Counter spells like Sinister Sabotage and Negate, they just don't look good, especially on the draw. I don't want to have them in my deck. I don't suspect there's anything coming that is expensive, that is valuable for me to counter. So those get out of here. On the play, you could consider putting the gate back in to combine it with like a fatal push to counter a God's Willing or something like that. But on the draw, there's really no time for that. Holebreaker Horror, Fort Distortion, way too slow, way too expensive, get out of here. What am I bringing in? Aether Gust, Enter the God Eternals, Shadow's Verdict, Path of Peril. That card seems fantastic here. Three mana sweeper, doesn't care about the toughness of the opposing creatures, just slams them away, goes around God's Willing too. Sounds good to me. 
yeah, just all the removal, the Shark Typhoon as well, why not? Is a blocker, is maybe a creature, a finisher late in the game. That is my plan here in this matchup. I'll play first for game two. Let's see what you got. Yeah, now my deck is way better. Okay. We got it here. Two lands, Swift Spear and Favorite Hoplite. We got two cantrips and a God's Willing to protect my things this time. Super cheap hand, not many lands. This is gonna be great. I will keep this hand. My hand is shaky. I don't have Fatal Push. I don't even have an Ether Gust. I don't even have a Path of Peril. Those are like my best cards early in the game, especially on a draw. I kind of need them. But if Simon chooses to play a little bit of a slower, conservative game here, maybe my Make Disappear can be good. My Sensor can be fine. And my Tainted Indulgence will then perhaps find me a Fatal Push. And this Extinction event is also at four mana, a little slow on the draw, but as long as things line up for me, this could really go well. Close hand, but I think I'm gonna keep this one. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm gonna go with this one too. Gonna take a risk? I'm gonna take a risk. Mm, okay, okay. I will try and punish you. You know what? You know him, you love him. I'll play a favorite hot light. <laughs> oh wow. Take two damage. Surprising. Deja vu. Mm-hmm. My turn? Yes. All right, draw a card. I will play a Drowned Catacomb tapped. Oh, that's a power play. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> it's your turn. All right. Hmm. In this case, I can play my Swiss Spear, which I'm definitely gonna do, and then either play Ancestral Anger on my favorite Hoplite while An is tapped out, but then I leave myself out of my God's Willings, which I just drew a second one for the turn. Or I can play the Swiss Spear, but I will have to shock myself. Uh, to leave up the God's Willing, and that way I telegraph to Arne that I do have it. If I leave up the God's Willing, I make sure that Arne doesn't just go like main phase, push your creature, because that might actually be a bit of a problem at this point. So I think that since I have two God's Willings um, and no other threats in my hand, I think I want to be a little bit more careful. Next turn, I can start to play my cantrips and keep up God's Willing. I'll take two damage. Go to 16. Play a Swift Spear. Now the party is rolling, and I will attack you for two. Okay. You got 18. Yep. Go. Untap, draw a card. I'll play a Hall of Storm Giants. Mm -hmm. And I will pass the turn to you. Okay. All right, draw for my turn. I'll play a Battlefield Forge. Um, play Ancestral Anger, targeting my hoplite to your triggers. No response. Okay. Uh, so this gets prowess, gets a counter, I draw a card. I can play Defiant Strike and still keep up a God's Willing. Or I can just keep up both God's Willings and be super safe here. I think the deciding factor here is that I drew lands for my last two draw steps. So I think it's really important that I don't somehow trap myself without the ability to use my God's Willing. Because there's a chance I might flood out and if Anna somehow has a bunch of cheap removal, he can actually blow one to like get my one God's Willing out of the hand and then play two more on his turn. And I don't want that to happen. So I think I'm just gonna play it super safe here. I can only do that because I'm on the play. Anna is not gonna have enough mana to actually interact with me, but we also are gonna have to put the pedal to the metal and end this game before Anna starts sweeping the board because God's Willing doesn't protect against sweepers. All right, so I can attack for five here. Is that good enough? Yeah, I think that is good enough. I'll attack for five. No blocks. You go to 13. I'll pass the turn. I will cast the Tainted Indulgence. Yeah. Draw two. Put an island to the graveyard. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> for my future Tainted Indulgence, two mana values enabled. Draw a card for time. Two Fawncies or not two Fawncies is the question here. So Fawncies won't really take a high impact card out of Simon's hand, I assume, because Simon doesn't really have anything that bothers me right now. There's no protection for this turn four extinction event that's coming next turn that he could ha possibly have in his deck, or at least that I could think of he could have. All right, after some careful consideration, I'm gonna just play a Swamp and I pass the turn to you. Okay, yeah, that is um, 
that, that is the usual approach for the control <laughs> mage. Just, just doing, doing your thing. Doing my thing. Okay. Mm. After careful consideration, I would have liked to not draw that card. I will play a Needle Words Pathway as a Pillar Words Pathway. And try to define Strike My Hoplite. Triggers. All right, that's fine by me. Okay. Draw card. All right, so I actually have a decision here. Um, I could play God's Willing just to give two extra points of damage. Um, the reason I might want to do that is if he has an extinction event, uh, it's something I really don't want to happen. I think the deciding factor here is that I do have showdown in hand. It's actually going to be perfect for me if he goes extinction event, because then I can just resolve my showdown without having to worry about counter spells. And then the God's Willings will help me with the threats I hit off showdown. Okay, combat? Yeah. Attack you, four, six. No blocks. No effects. Take six. You got a seven. I'll pass the turn. I will cycle Sensor end of turn. Okay. Yeah. Draw a card. So go ahead and cycle Shark to him. Okay. And yeah, you can still go. I'll draw a card. I'll play Urburg, so your mm -hmm. Battlefield Fortress are now upgraded to Swarms. That's true. And I'll play Extinction Events. That is exactly what I expected. Okay, choose odd. Exactly what you expected? Exactly what I expected. So am I going to be dead now? Y no. That would be cool. Your turn. Or, I mean, I guess in a way, I'm going to play a Showdown of the Skulls. That is one hell of a sideboard card. Yeah. Sick. Very good. Uh, so I revealed top four. Okay. Okay. These are some powerful magic cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Wonderful. Oh no. I will just play an inspired advantage <laughs> and fast the turn. Okay. That was not what I needed to see off my showdown. Um, I, I need I need to work a little bit harder, deck. Just a little bit harder. Give me some frets. Give me anything. That's funny. All right, untap. All right, Simon. <clears throat> I'd like to force you. Okay. The time has come to reveal my two gods willing. All right. <laughs> I guess I take one. You go to five. I go to five. Okay. All right, I'll play an island. Mm hmm. And pass the turn. I sure hope you don't have a counter spell and that I draw a creature. <laughs> it's two things that need to go right here. I will play Needle Wedge Pathway and a Bone Crush Giant. <laughs> That will resolve. Not the best creature to target with things. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> but yes. I will uh, define strike my Bone Crusher Giant. Take two damage. Try and put a counter on it with showdown. I will spawn with this whole shadow. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It goes around your God's Willing, doesn't it? It does go around my God's Willing. Oh man, how many soul shadows do you even play? Okay. I take two damage. I go to 14. My giant is just sacrificed, right? Not exiled? Yes, sacrificed. Okay. This one goes to the graveyard. Uh, I will pass the turn and this Homestead Courage stays in exile. All right. Draw a card. I will play a Castle of Andrews. Mm hmm And I will pass the turn to you. I'll play a Dreadhorde Arcanist. Oh, yeah, this also goes to three and dies. Yes, yes. Um, Dreadhorde Arcanist is the play, you see. Mm -hmm. That one may resolve. All right. I'll just play another Inspired Vantage and pass the turn. All right. I will cast the Dick for time next time. <laughs> yeah. Exiling. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I can choose to, yeah, just exile three here. Pay free mana myself. 
I will choose to exile sensor, forces, and the indulgence. All right, keeping my graveyard as good as possible for future indulgence. Mm -hmm. Look at the top seven. It's not boding well for me. And I will just get to keep these two. Yeah. Oh, Simon, I can't tell you how happy I am right now. This is exactly where I want to be. Just playing land and passing? <laughs> Not this time, no. I will Path of Peril destroy all creatures with CMC 2 or less. That is indeed what it says. You've done a very good job of making these cards willings. It's so bad. I thought I, I was really advantaged when I started with them in hand, but nope. The sweepers are quite nice against them. Not after all. Your turn. All right, well, so much for not putting Giganta in hand so I could like pay for, make this appear if I try to catch cost winning. Mm. Now I'll just have to do it now. Yep. Put Giganta in hand. Yep. I don't think I can afford to play it though because I don't have God's winning up, so I will just play a pathway, pass the turn. Cast the Tainted Indulgence. Yep, do you have your types? I do. One, two, three, four, five, five. Yes. Draw two cards. Impressive. Thank you. I've done, a, I've done a lot of work for that. <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> Draw a card for the turn. Play a Field of Ruin. Pass the turn to you. Draw. Play a Battlefield Forge. And my Gigantha. Big gooey boy. Powerful, powerful. Mm -hmm. um, that one resolves. Could it be? <laughs> Is this the one that will bring me the victory? You're at five, right? I am. I will also play another Red Hot Arcanist. Alright. Uh, pass the turn. You can't possibly have anything, right? We'll see about that. Um, Fatal push. This. Yeah, I probably cost. have to just use my God's Willing, even though you want me to use it right now. Maybe I don't, actually. <laughs> yeah, no, you know what, you know what. Okay. Yeah. Next level here. Simon is smart. He's smelling the make disappear. Fine by me. I will cast a memory to lose. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go. More cards for me. I will take these two. And... Bottom those. And Simon. Sorry to yeah. say. I have a second soul shadow. Mm. You do indeed <laughs> shadow my soul. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Yeah, so much for that God's willing. Untap. <clears throat> Draw a card. Play a drawn catacomb. You had 14? This Hall of Storm Giants. Is <laughs> it's certainly looking juicy. It's looking hungry. I am considering it, let's say. Just get it over with, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I Simon. You what if you draw a showdown into a couple of creatures? In the I, w I, I would not. You would not? No, I wouldn't do that to you. Yeah, I will just pass the turn. Okay, like do you give me another draw step to draw that dreaded showdown. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Alright. Alright. All right, by the way, I will definitely do that to you. <laughs> Alright, alright. All right. Yeah, I'll play a showdown. Alright. Let me see, let me tab it so that it's nice. Nice and clean. Damn, Simon. You're making things interesting here. That one will resolve. Okay. Reveal the top four. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Wow. Um, huh, interesting. I'll play a Monastery Swiss Spear. Ooh, this is getting tricky, but I think I have a plan. 
Let's see if my plan works out. Let the game continue. Resolves. Okay. I will uh, try an ancestral anger. Yep. With one in the graveyard. Yeah, so it's plus two plus zero. Yes. Plus the powers. Resolves. We're looking at a four power swift spear. I will go to combat. Please. I would like to activate my Hall of Storm Giants. Yeah, you're probably gonna roast me with Fatal Push and make disappear here. Uh, but I have no choice. I will try and God's Willing my Monster Extra Spear. I will respawn with Fatal Push. I'm gonna miss Monster Swift Spear. I will respawn with God's Willing. Whoa, am I a prophet or what? <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> da da! My plan worked out. All right, uh, this God's Willing is countered, and this one dies to Fatal Push, the other God's Willing fizzles, and um, this becomes a 7 7. You're right. Okay, so I did see that coming, and actually, I probably didn't need to play my God's Willing. If Anna's best plan is to animate the hall. Like he also, he knows my hand, right? He knows I have access to two God's Willings. And he probably saw that this exact line would happen if he animates the hall instead of flashbacking memory deluge. I should just put him on uh, the make disappear and then just not play my second God's Willing. Just let my creature die and keep it for a future turn. Cause I still have the second showdown coming. <sighs> no. I will have to pass the turn. This game is far from over, though, with the second showdown coming. Yeah, definitely. Definitely could be interesting. Yeah, I would like to play Fedipoot's tapped and pass the turn to you. This game is developing really interestingly. So this one goes to two after I draw my card. Yeah. I will play this one. Um like this. It does resolve. Actually, uh, all right, so it resolves. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I will play a monitor Swiss spear. Yep. Resolves. Yep. Then I'll play the hoplite. Put a count on my Swiss spear. Yep. Then I will play this homestead courage. Put a count on my hoplite from the homestead courage. Showdown trigger. Put a count on Swiss spear. And prowess and heroic also trigger. Resolves. Everything resolves. Okay, so. We can do a dice for the prowess triggers. Which is just one right now. Which is one right now. Okay, still a lot of things going on. I'll play another Battlefield Forge. And go with Ancestral Anger. Targeting the Hoplite and uh, getting a count on the Swiss Spear. That was awesome. So All right, so two prowess triggers. This one gets a counter from Showdown. This one gets a counter from its prowess. Mm. I'll draw a card. Take a damage. Ancestral Anger on my Swiss Spear. Triggers targeting Swiss Spear. I might have a response to that. That makes sense. I think I will respond by flashbacking my Deluge. Yep. Let's see if you can find the thing you need. Seven cards. All right, come on, deck. Come on, deck. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna take these two. Those two it is, and I will Ethergast. Oh, wow. Okay, that works. I'll put it back on top. This is an exciting game. Yeah, it is very interesting. I'll take a pain and play another hoplite. Put a count on this one. 
Mm -hmm. That's a 10. Got a 12. Untap. Draw cards. Half of Peril. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then it's your turn. And you have mana enough to animate your... Hall of Stone Giants. <sighs> what a game! Two triggers. Yes. One goes to the graveyard, the other one stays to two. Man, this graveyard is getting too long. <laughs> <laughs> I will play Swiss Spear. Sure. I will flash back Homestead Courage. Sure. Putting uh, three counters on it. Yes. And I have to pass the turn, it's not big enough. It's only a 5-6. So it is lethal, but yeah, I was planning on your sweeper being Shadow's Verdict and not Path of Peril. Yep. I'll pass an energy douche. It's probably game over now. What a game though, what a game. Look at the top four. Okay. Um, take those two, bottom those two. Then I would like to fail push. Yeah. Uh, on tap. Draw card. Pass the turn to you. Go. I will make a shark typhoon. Eight. And then you will animate your hole and I will die. That is going to happen, yeah. likely. Yeah, I drew a lot of. God's willing here, oh. but it's not good enough. Good games. <laughs> wow, good games. Yeah, it ended up being very tight. Simon, those were some good games, weren't they? I just lost the control. I feel so empty inside. Wow, this is how I make you guys feel? Hey, come on. Didn't your heart start beating when those showdown into showdown happened in game two? Uh, okay, Okay. yeah, the, the showdown is a showdown was actually pretty good. I mean, that, like, the, the game two was pretty exciting, to be honest. Like, it was very close. Yeah, actually, I, I kind of love playing these, like, synergistic aggro decks against control. Because, like, you really have to think about, like, how, how do I line up my threats so that your interaction and your removal just doesn't work out right against what I'm playing. I, I can only say the same from control side. This this sort of dance of... Yeah, dance, exactly. Especially with the protection spells that you have access to and what could happen and... Does he go for it? Do I need to keep up more? It is exciting and I love that. In any case, guys, don't forget to check out Karma Crow, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and me and Simon will be in the future videos again. So, see you then. I heard some rumors about another AI video incoming. Ooh, all right.